Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope uh, the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love to change to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift a good vibe that you truly need it um please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share is greatly appreciated as well and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey Oka, your power and your light is blinding the devil and he does not like it keep flowing anyway it's true you know um there are so many different things that's going going um is happening for us you know it's not happening to us we got to keep reminding ourselves this is not happening to us it's happening for us it's helping us better ourselves um in so many different ways and when we're allowing ourselves to stand our ground when we're allowing ourselves to hold boundaries you know keep it solid not allowing ourselves to entertain anything that is going to be emotionally mentally any kind of way draining you know, or to just take you out of your piece of element, you know, um, being able to allow yourself, you know, uh, to stand forward and stay strong within within that and showing gratitude, attitude of gratitude um, and appreciation for that growth. When you do when you're doing that and you're, you're allowing yourself to not be succumbed by or embodying illusions anymore, allowing yourself to not just uh, embrace your fears to be able to let go of them, you know, being able to say, you know what, I use the, my fear to allow me to stay focused on what's best for me whatever I'm not liking whatever is making me uncomfortable I can use the flow of, of fuel to be able to stay consistent with myself to be able to end those different things that irritate me uh, to be able to heal on those like if it's irritating you it's just allowing it's telling you to ch show patience if you're you're angry it's telling you to reflect if you're frustrated you know angry is telling you to work out <laughs> and if it's frustration is telling you to reflect you know comparison is telling you to go inwards you know all these different things is helping you do that and the god and devil doesn't like that you're allowing yourself to speak to god on everything that you're going through when you're allowing yourself because a lot of times we try to understand why things don't work out in our favor when we're trying to do things in a different way when universe is telling you can you just step out the side so step out step sideways so we can go ahead and help you manifest this we're trying to do this because the way you're doing it you're going to end up manifesting a whole bunch of hot mess if you don't stop we're trying to help you and when they see that you like being like i said in the video you being teachable and you're allowing yourself to say universe i'm staying open because a lot of times when they're telling you when you're manifesting you want to manifest this this and this and this and that and when when they then they can a lot of times they can do that for you and it may be limited like why do this when you can you know, you ain't even got to, you know, it's going from point A to point B. It don't even have no beginning or end. It's like a circle. You keep going. And they're telling you, don't, we can give you this, but we deserve, you deserve so much more. And when you're doing that and just saying, universe, I'm just open to whatever you feel like is going to create me to be a better person and a better person beyond all my expectations. But for y'all, you know, what y'all expecting of me. And universe is like, oh, well, you just uh, said the word. That, that's, that's my word, you know. And when you're doing that. You know, the devil don't like that. You're standing in your ground. You're not allowing yourself to be uncomfortable based off of other people's comfortability. You know, you're allowing your light to be shine. You're not letting anyone or anything make you dim that. You know, even when you're you're in question about certain things, you're taking it to the higher power. Like, look, you know, I really want to do this. I know I don't, you know, I know you probably put this in my mind, but can you guide me to where, you know, you want me to go? And when you're doing that, you know, you're asking God first before you sit up here and allow yourself to, uh, you know, make moves that you may not know how it's going to take. You know, it's different between you taking a risk take, risk take, um, risky business is when you're, you're allowing yourself to be that risk taker and stepping out of that zone of being so safe all the time, being so cautious. It's like there, you, there are certain things where you know you need to be cautious on. You know, anything that you don't have written in stone and you know you're trying to move like that, you keep that to yourself, you know. 
You keep it to yourself no matter what it looks like to anybody else. Keep it to yourself. You don't have to be making, you know, like they showing those different posts. Like, you ain't got to post everything that you're going through in your life. You know, you don't have to show off everything that you got going on into your life. Because there's somebody out there that just don't want you to have that. And they will do any and everything to ruin that. So, keep that stuff to yourself. You know, you're going through these different things. When you're allowing yourself to go through those wounds, that's a whole power play right there. You're going through wounds and you're allowing yourself to face that. You know, you're going through that shadow work. And going through shadow work, you already know, shadow work is not... Whew, Jesus. Fix it. <laughs> you know, it's just not... It, it's, it's not easy whatsoever. And you're going through all these different things where you're taking your power back. You're getting your energy. You're being very... You you see that your 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 essence, your... your uh, Everything is sacred to you. It, it has to be sacred. So you're being very selective about what you choose to invite into your vessel. Like, hey, you know, even when it's some, even when it's just like right now, when you're cutting off so many cords into your life, where you see where okay, you're not manipulating yourself. You're not disrespecting yourself by manipulating to get someone to care for you, or you know, uh, making lies up to yourself. Okay, you, you lie out there to the world, you lying to yourself. You know, when you're being honest with yourself about different things in my life, okay, I don't have it easy, nobody do. You know, okay, I, I'm not positive, you know, it's not a positive day for me, but I'm allowing myself to work through it. You know, I remember what God promised me, even though it may not feel like he's, he's, he's fulfilling that, he actually is through the moments of the things that I'm going through, the things that I face, the things that I'm overcome, the things that I'm allowing myself to embrace, to move forward, you know, being able to um, allow myself to keep moving. You know, rest when he tell me to rest. Keep moving when I'm being moved. You know, being obedient the best way I know how. Even when I make mistakes and I'm allowing myself to learn from those. And when I learn from those, even when I come out of face on certain things and it's just like, hey, you know, let me allow myself to go back and, you know, rewire, my, you know, re rewire myself. Go, you know, go fix this. And when you allowing yourself to do that, because a lot of times, you know, we'll get upset. We'll get in our moods and, you know, we'll you know, pop off, and a lot of times you got to be like that, let me go repent, <laughs> you know, let me go repent, let me go apologize, whatever, and you know, and apologize to myself, because I allowed myself to do that, and then it's just like, but you understood the lesson on what happened, right, you know, that'll be just like, you know, your higher self, you're talking to your higher self, he's like, you know what happened, right, okay, and now you fix that, and then when you fix that, you know, if this happens again, you already know which, which route to take, you know, and you're being very cautious about that. And it's just like when you start being very selective, you know, and I brought that up again when you're being selective, you know, those are the different things you're doing because you're honoring yourself. And the universe, the universe wants you to honor yourself, but the devil don't. He wants you to honor him. He wants you to worship him. And not realizing that that food will take your butt out the pasture. You don't realize that he will play you like he will finesse the mess out of you. Take you to pasture and be working on the next one. You know, going through that. So it, it's just like when you're allowing yourself to be bold. You know, you really putting that true meaning, that true definition to a Hayoka warrior right now. And forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. When you're doing that, he don't like that. You know, and you're allowing yourself to stay, you know, you're allowing yourself to stay true with that. You be unapologetically. I know I probably said that in a weird way, but unapologetically. Then I'll say it again. <laughs> you know, be you. When you be you and you recognize like, yeah, I've been through it. I've been through it a few times. I went to hell back, hell and back to where I got frequent fire miles. And they got 17 days and eight, eight nights, you know, for me to be able to go on my next free trip on a cruise. And got, you know, a hotel stay and three vacations, you know. And just being able, you know, I've been through it. Got to it. Recovered, you know, and I'm back. You know, and back, but I'm I'm not back to my old self. I'm back to a new new vibe of myself. And these are the different things that I can be grateful for. These are the things I can be proud of. You know, it's like anything that I went through, I took it to God. You know, and it's just like like I say that, and it's just like me saying that I'm not a religious person. I don't disrespect anybody who you know has religious belief. I just don't. I'm just heavy in my spirit. There's a lot of different things where I, I just wanted to fix stuff myself, and just knowing where I had to really just step back and let God do Him. 
<laughs> you know, let me let God do me, do him. You know, he want he was like, look, I'm trying to do this for you. You know how I, I, I'm gonna get to that point where I, I, God would probably touch the bridge of his nose, mess around with me. But can you step out of the way? I got this. You know, and just being able to do that. And a lot of times it's hard to do that when you're going through so much. You know, things get really uncomfortable and you're trying to speed up that process when God tells you, have patience. I know this is working on your nerve. It's working on my nerve to see it's working on your nerve. But this is how I'm going to learn you. You know, this is how I'm going to learn you. You're going to learn parts of yourself that you never knew it was possible. You're going to be shook and confused. When you see what your capabilities are being, what what you're able to achieve, how far you can truly go. Your manifestations can be just the tip of the iceberg of what oh, oh, more doors I'm open for you. It's like one door is shut and five more open for you. You know, and when you're doing that, you're I mean, your light and your power is projecting. Your light and power is projecting. People can't stand it. Give them shades. You ain't got to look. Tell him, give him shades. Turn around. You don't reach around. You ain't got to watch me. As a matter of fact, here, here's a chair since you can't stand to see me go, do good. You know, be one of those different things. Because you can tell him double, hey, here's a chair. What you, what you giving me this chair for? Because you can't stand to see me going good. Sit down. Shut the hell up. <laughs> you just gone somewhere. You know, be one of those different things that you be ready to tell double. And it, it, you're just going through all these different things into your life. And being able to understand. You know, understand why you had to go through the things you went through. Understand why God disconnected you from certain vibrations. Wonder why God blocked certain things that you thought was meant for you actually wasn't because he had something so much better. Why God made you wait. Why that no wasn't a no but just not right now. Why that delay wasn't, it wasn't denied but it was a delay. You know, all these different things put you in an outcome to where, okay, if I'm going to give you these blessings, here, I'm going to allow you to go through the worst turmoil it is. So when you go through this worst turmoil, turmoil that you got going on in your life, I want you to really see who was there for you. Really, they're going to see who, who's there to support you. Really want to show you there that he stood by your side through the midst of all this and stood, stood there and didn't even, it allowed you to know that you could believe in yourself because they believed in you. You know, being able to show you how much that you, you have grown, how far you have come, how further you can truly go, more than higher expectations that you have of yourself, but what God has of you. And all those different things when you're doing that, it pisses the devil off because he don't like that. <laughs> He's like, you don't like that. And you're going through all these different things into your life, you know, because a lot of times... You have to just go, you know, even it'll be different times where, you know, you, you say... I don't want to pray to God about patience because when I do, that's when all hell break loose. Or if I, you know, if I, you know, ask God for strength to give me strength to deal with this, he'll put something in my life that'll make me want to lose my mind, you know, or give me a reason to have faith and he'll show me different things. He'll place me in where it shows me the faith will bring me through. You're going through all those things, and when you go through all those things, I mean, it, it can, you can look at your surroundings and just be looking like, Oh my God, I feel like I'm in a monster house. I'm feeling like I'm in a haunted mansion. And I mean, not the one on Disney, but the one in the nightmare. <laughs> you know, it'll be like Pet Cemetery done ran over twice. It'll be one of those different things all put together. Like Hellraiser and, and the Collector and Saw and all the destinations. And it'll amplify. And he's still telling you things are good. Are we, are we in the same place? <laughs> you know, are we in the same place? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're in the same place because I'm going to bring you out of this. And when he brings you out of this, you're going to understand. You know, because a lot of times you're trying to understand why, you know, it, it, it just feel like God is lying to me. Because, uh, you know, and it's just like the devil is a master manipulator. He truly will. He will use your weakness against you. He'll use the things that you love most against you. You know, and all those different things. You know, universe and God takes the, you know, takes the same, uh, projects in the same way, but has different intentions on why they're doing it. Universe will put you through some, universe and God will put you through some stuff just to strengthen you, just for you to see the truth and be able to understand he is the truth within that. You have more power than you give yourself credit for. You're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. 
devil, he will sit up here and make you think that God lied to you. Your life is going to stay this way. It can't get any better. Look at everybody. They don't left you. They abandoned you. They did this. They did that. You see how I can make you have money. I can have, make you have all the women and the men in the world. I can make you have all these fancy things. And then it's like, and it's just for free. Then on it's like, ain't nothing for free when it comes to you. What, what's the what's the point? You know what do I gotta sacrifice? Who I gotta sacrifice for me to have all these things? You know, he's like, what do you want me to call you? Today? Hey, I got so many names, so many names, all these different things. You know, and it is just like, it, you know, you when you go through those different things, it's, it's just like. You going through hell and it's like the last chapter of that hell that you are going through. It is really going to put true meaning to what hell is. But that hell is going to be, you know, that, that pre preparation of your, your, your personal heaven. You had to go through that hell because you're creating your own personal heaven through that hell that you've gone through. Because it's like when you when you face all the things you face and you don't got through things that you never thought you could get through, you become a beast. You become unstoppable. You become undestructible. And it'll be different things. You come up out of that. You don't even realize how much protection you have. But then when you get out, you have extra protection. Just to make sure whatever happened, happened is not going to be, it's going to be blocked as soon as it go back. You know, block, turn the center. Turn the center. <laughs> turn the center. You know, and keep on going. And when you're doing that, the devil don't like that. You know, the devil is not liking what you're doing. Because you're allowing yourself to be strong even in your midst of weakness. You're creating your you're you're creating to prepare a powerful heaven for you even when you're facing the hellish situations that you're being in. You're allowing yourself to stay strong. You are allow, allowing yourself to bow back down to your weaknesses of what you let go of. You're not opening back doors because it feels lonely. You're not allowing yourself to occupy yourself with all this nonsense, whether it's sex or drugs or, 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 or some kind of different things that's going to make you ignore what you truly need to have your attention on. You know, fueling that focus. You know, different things. You could be, you know, be going in that where you rocking. You know, if you ever been in a situation where you sit up here and rock, you be crying to your eyes well shut, like, I can't take no more, I can't take no more. It's like, use whatever is staying on your mind of focus and put some kind of positivity to it. And that's what universe will tell you. Put some kind of, you feel like you can't make it through this, you want this to keep going. Because you know, sometimes you got to psych yourself out. You want this to keep going. You want to keep dealing with the same things that you know you shouldn't be dealing with. You want people to be, you keep dealing with people where you tell them it's okay to treat you a certain way. No. Do you want to release everything that you feel like is holding you back, stopping you, blocking you, sabotaging you? Yes. Okay, use all those different things to apply it towards something good. Allow yourself to get out into the world. You know, uh, nature walk. Allow yourself to say five good things about yourself this morning. Allow yourself to go go to God and tell him about five different things uh, that you're grateful for. When you go to sleep, when you're telling him what's the five things you get grateful for. And when you do that within a week, you add one more to it. Or if you can, you can add some throughout the day. You know, being able to say it's not, it can be a negative day or it's a positive day. If it can't be my day, it can't be my day. But I'm going to go ahead and put my effort in it on making it my day. You know, I'm allow myself to do that as soon as I said that. Oh, 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 thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was like that was my gift, you know, doing that. Because every day is not a good day for us. There'll be different days where you're ready to fight. You know, but then they tell you, fight for your rights. You know, maybe think about that song. You've got to fight for your rights to party. You know, party like, it's, party like a rock star. Party like it's 1999. You do that. You know, you truly do that. And then you're going to understand why the devil tries so hard. Because they always tell you, devil will fight you hard when he know God preparing something for you. He will. He will fight you hard. You'll see different things will come up. When you find, when God finally opened that door for you, you're going to understand why the heck uh, the enemies try so hard for you. Hold on just a second, y'all. Hey, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's the reason why the um, enemy stays so hard on you because they don't want you to move forward. They don't want you um, to be happy. They don't want you to be at peace. They don't want you to go through a positive change. And then when you're doing that, you know, the devil will do any and everything to make sure that that doesn't happen. And these are those times where you have to really 
you know, you have to be really selective. Like right now, you're going through so many different things and the changes that are taking place where they're telling you to choose your battles. Whatever you, you are engaging on or the things you, you know, you want to step foot forward on and, and do, you know, make sure whatever you're doing is worth you doing it. And these are the different things that are taking place into your life where, you know, wherever God's leading you, God is leading you, putting it towards that, you know, and it's just like for you to amp up your, you know, amp up your faith on everything that is going on. Because when when your light and your power is projecting like that, it tends to, you know, they always tell you when you choose to elevate yourself and evolve, it triggers a lot of things. They all have a lot of things go against you. So you allow yourself to keep moving the best way possible. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video, y'all. Like I always say, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. And um, just to be able to, you know, uh, being able to help each other grow, being able to help each other heal on everything that is taking place. And for us to be able to do that, it, it can be very beautiful. You know, I'm being being able to be beautiful, and I love the fact is that I can be able to participate and help help others to do the same. You know, to be able to have a deeper understanding about that, and you know, wherever I can help at, you know, I, I love to be able to do that. Like I said, it's spiritual networking, so being able to help do that to help empower other people is truly a blessing. And whatever we speak on is confidential, and like I said, I'll help out the best way I can. If you're ever interested in listening to podcasts, I also have my podcast on my channel in the community section of my channel as well if you're interested in doing podcasting you know please let me know um the the insight on it is pretty simple like i tell people all the time i'm not tech savvy on that but it's like so easy to manage and all that and it's just like when you start doing more of them you get paid for it and plus it's like they they send you different notifications on where they're 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 choosing different um different podcast stations to be able to you know um upload your uh upload your uh your podcast as well so if any plus if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation it'll be greatly appreciated the app uh cash app there is um in the community i mean in the description section as well and um whatever you're needing to uh whatever vibes you're needing to manifest your um you know your uh your manifestations. I don't know why I said manifest. Your manifestation got stuck on it. Your manifestations, you know, whatever you're needing, whatever vibes you're needing to get through there. I'm sending so much beautiful love and light and upliftment towards your way towards a million times fold. Um, you know, stay consistent and persistent no matter how everything is looking at around you, how things are constantly going through day by day. You keep going, keep persisting. You know, you end up bringing out so much insight from all the things that you're facing. Stay persistent and consistent. You know, sleep on yourself. Stay woke. You know, the, the devil will all, all the devil sees your light and your potential all the time. That's why he tries so hard to be able to convince you of something else different because he's scared of what you might discover. So you allow yourself to know the devil is a lie. Tell him that. Tell him to hit rocks, you know, kick rocks without socks. Be able to tell him to do that. And, you know, and keep on moving. Tell him you're a lie. I got this, you know, and keep moving. You know, and allow yourself to do that. You know, have a blessed day. We please be responsible at everything you do, even through social distancing. Make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequency to others. You never know; those things can really take them a long way. And just because you did it without wanting anything in return, trust and believe it can help you out as well and take you even further. So much love to you. God bless. Blessed be. Namaste. I say shalom. Much love to you. Peace.